Hey, what's good everybody? It's your boy Design. You are watching the Shades and Souls channel. Today we're going to be doing the real review Under Armour Hover Havoc 3. Now what you say is a real review. Real review is where I talk about the shoes, how I feel about the shoe, the overall experience with the shoe. No bullshit, no nothing. I bought these shoes on my own, so you can best believe I'll tell it how it is. You can get these shoes at underarmor.com for 110 bucks. If you guys are asking about the background, that is Baby O. She is in the house and uh, wearing my Zoom Freak 2s right now. I don't know why she loves wearing my shoes and she hates wearing her own shoes. But it is what it is. Let's get on with the review. So, as per usual, things I don't like about the shoe. First, on this shoe... I know on my initial impressions, I wrote down the fit was perfect, but initial impressions differ from when you keep on playing with the shoes, and that's why it's very important that you just don't give out reviews on your first play. So as the shoe broke in, materials break in good, I got myself a true to size on this one. Now, um, was it a good move? I still think that was a good move. It's just sad that uh, after it broke in, it left a little bit of space here. So then from regular socks, I had to go with a cushion socks. Is that really a deal breaker? No, because as long as you got yourself the right size, you'll be good even if, even if the materials in the upper is already broken in. Okay, so that's my first thing about the shoe first thing I don't like about the shoe next thing I don't like about the shoe is I had high this is this is on me I had high expectations for the shoe after the initial fit not initial play but initial fit I thought that um, the shoe was gonna play great overall not saying that it's bad I just had really high expectations of it and I also made the mistake on playing with this first outdoors and then played indoors now what did that take effect afterwards so when I did play indoors on these ones although the traction held up good I would have imagined if I did it if I hadn't played indoors on I mean outdoors on this I think the I think the traction would have held up a lot better indoors now the traction was it really a bad thing no it was really good i just messed up playing outdoors in this now that said is this a bad outdoor shoe no this is pretty this is a pretty good outdoor shoe i just wish i hadn't played in it outdoors first and played with it indoors first so that the traction portion of it i'd know how it would have really um been if i hadn't played outdoors um i think those are pretty much the things i don't like about the shoe oh maybe uh maybe the cushion okay hover cushion is said to be like the, their their best uh cushion in under armor or at least they're trying to advertise that as their best cushion but i do believe micro g is still the best even even the newer micro g's are actually sometimes better than the hover so i don't know and then some shoes hover is better than the micro g so i i can't really tell it's it depends on their um rubber compound mixture of things but and this one did i really like the cushion on this one not as much i do love the um court feel on this one but yeah those are the things i don't like the sizing I set up too high of an expectation. I played outdoors first before indoors and I'm just iffy on the cushion. Did it do me any good on the impact protection? It's it's right there in the middle. You know, nothing I can complain. Uh, nothing I can put high praises on neither. But it did have a good impact protection. Now. The things I do like about the shoe. One is the price. One is the comfort. And one is how wide this is on the court. Like, 
you can feel you can feel the stability on the shoe um, despite playing outdoors I still like how the grip was uh, indoors after playing in them outdoors I really wish I didn't though because that would have meant a whole lot of difference um, but yeah that's that's pretty much um, I could say about the shoe I like I like the traction I like how wide this is um, adding to the stability and all that stuff now was there a lot of stability and uh, support inside it's okay I can't complain it's hundred and ten bucks it's it's what you would expect hundred and ten bucks and a little bit better um, should you buy this shoe I mean if you guys are into the look of the shoe I guess you can buy but for 110 bucks I think there's a lot better options out there 110 to 130 bucks pair I think there's a lot of options out there and it's not a lot of difference when we're talking about the pricing um, but yeah if you're if you're after the brand the look and how the shoe would feel on you then go for it I I wouldn't discourage you in buying this it's all up to you but that is my real review for the hover havoc 3 nothing outstanding nothing too much to complain about it's a uh, mid-tier shoe a good mid-tier shoe there you go that's that's all I can say about that so if you guys want to follow me for updates and all that stuff follow me on my Instagram right there and I want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for your support it's your boy Diesel signing off peace out